Greetings, part fans! It is day 10 of Part Vahida, part videos himself every day in April. Today, I want to talk about the idea of just documenting things, just to, to, the importance, how I feel that it's important to document things. What I mean by that is just, you know, taking pictures, taking videos, just the, the things to, to remember situations by. And, I don't know, this came out because, like, I know there's a whole thing of like, oh, people need to live in the moment, people are always on their phones as things and videoing and blah blah blah. And while I get that, like, at concerts and stuff like that, people can go overboard with recording every single song and absolutely, you know, the entire thing, but my argument against this world about, you know, just doing things but maybe enjoying the moment and also doing the videos is because the older I get, the more regrets I have that I don't have pictures or videos from like specific events and things like that. Um, like, you've recently I've been thinking about my first ever cosplay, or I cosplayed as Portcus D Ace at uh, Erdicon 2014, it's a long time ago, and I think I have maybe two pictures, and they're from like my friend's Snapchat story, so they have a stupid caption on them, and that's it. Um, that's all I have to like look back on that, and I'm doing it again this weekend, I'm doing that same costume with, you know, updated parts, um, and just... It sucks that I don't have, like, a lot to compare it to, to compare myself to. And as well, like, from when I was younger, I had very long hair when I was a kid. And I think I have maybe two or three pictures of me, because I had hair down to, like, here. Like, it was big. It was big hair. And I just don't have that many, like, things from that point of, point of time. And, you know... It doesn't matter, it really doesn't, but uh, currently I love looking at just even like videos from a year ago, like videos of my training, my, my powerlifting from a year ago and comparing like weights and like, you know, body composition and things like that. It's very interesting to see and um, it's, it is so nice to just be able to, to go like, oh wow, I was doing this much that time, like look at how it moved not so great, and now I'm doing this much and it's moving amazingly. It is a really handy thing to just have these points of time that I can just call back to instantly. And it's just sad that I don't have a lot of things like that. You know, there's a lot of things from my life where I'm like, oh, I wish I had a picture from then, or like, oh, that event was very cool, but I don't have any real documentation of it. And again, just to reiterate the point from the start, this doesn't mean that I think everyone should, you know, like, stop what they're doing constantly to take pictures, but I feel like just organically taking pictures or just finding points of the of your day or of the event to take pictures, take videos is really cool. Like a huge thing for me is being able to go to like any year from 2010 to now and just have a video of me talking to a camera. You know, this whole thing is this amazing time capsule for me because I can just be like, you know, oh, here's what I looked like in such and such a year. And it's not just like a photo, it's videos. It's videos of me talking and it's very cool, a very cool thing to be able to just call back to. Um, and I, I don't know, I think it's a beautiful thing and there's a lot where I'm kind of like, I wish I had X, Y, and Z. And you know, the regrets are bad, don't have regrets, but like, I think, you know, I need to get much better at this because even last year at KaizokuCon, I, up until uh, about two, three weeks ago, I thought that I only had one singular, singular photo of uh, me in my um, Inosuke costume, um, which I took, I got my friend to take after a little while, um, and then I just decided to check Facebook of this uh, photographer who had taken a picture of me that I thought just had not put them up and they were there and I was so excited because I have more pictures of that, I have more evidence that that happened, I have more memories of that, you know? Um, so yeah, I don't know, I think it's... <sighs> there is a lot where people go overboard and they take like, you know, they're only doing this, they're only doing that, they're not living in the moment. But I think there's a balance there, and I think it's very important to have these things, um, you know, as time goes on. Because I'm 32 now, being able to look back at when I was 18 and just be like, damn, you had no idea. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know. I think it's important to have these things, and it, it makes me happy to be able to just look back and go like, that was me. That's what I was up to. I was having a good time. 
Um, so yeah, just a bit of a ramble about that because it popped into my head earlier. Um, so yeah, I hope you're having a good day and I hope that uh, you have pictures to look back on of yourself or I hope that you take a bunch of pictures and take a bunch of videos at upcoming things so that in how many ever years, like 15 years, 12 years, 30 years, you have these these things because memories are great but having something that can remind you of the memory or bring you back to the time it helps as a as a self-proclaimed old man myself i'm only 32 i've still got life god i hope but i'll talk to you all tomorrow have nice evenings nice days and nice lives Sloan.